Yo, yo, what's up to the Tay Lyrical Podcast? You feel me? Today I'm with Kev. Int- introduce yourself, man. It's, come on, man. Stop it. They know me already. Okay. They already know nah, you. You know, you know, you know when they Kanye know, West was like, like, Kanye West, he was like, now it's just yay. They, they, they already they. know you. Yeah. When people see me, I don't know if it's the hat. I don't know. It's just, it's just they know it's me, man. That, so you're it. good. You're doing good. Yeah. It's just the energy. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, it's, definitely, it's definitely the energy. It's definitely the It's definitely the uh, uh, 10,000 hours. Uh-huh. It's definitely yeah. the work. You know, you know, they call me smart. Mm-hmm. Call me smart guy. They call me the savior. Mm-hmm. They call me the the, 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 <laughs> the gifted one. They, told, uh-huh. they call me the chosen one. <laughs> okay? I'm here to help black people, mm-hmm. right? I'm here to help our people Yeah. Um, get in position. Mm. So, you know, it's hard for me to say, like, you know, who I am, right? Because yeah. it's so many things, so many names, right? Yeah, I see what, but, exactly yeah. what you're saying. For the people that don't know, though, tell them who you are. Oh, see, you starting off wrong because everybody knows. Everybody, I, 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 we I, cannot I, downplay I, this, man. I'll yeah. be honest with you, right? Yeah. So, um, but my focus, my focus is really being, you know, being being a beacon of light, being the being the the tunnel, being the the physical version of this generation's underground uh, railroad, mm-hmm. right? And and showing my people the pathway to to subconscious conscious, um, you know, freedom. And how right? does that look? Say it again? How does that look? Well, it starts with the mindset, right? Like, you know, how you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. emotion that yeah. emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. Yeah. So when you understand how powerful your mind is and how powerful your mind works, right, you can tap into that and then you can be the best version of yourself, which That's is right. what? A god. Mm. Right, that's the highest level of yourself. It's like Dragon Ball Z, right? Like you, yeah, ultra you instinct, God, yeah. is God, <laughs> right? This is real you. shit, right? Yeah. Um, so that's the key, right? And then mm-hmm. having that confidence and taking that confidence and applying it to your craft, such as this. This is the beginning stages for you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, because now you're you're getting in the media, but there's a there's a way to scale, right? You know, you eventually you guys might get your own satellite. Yeah. You might be investing. You might create a board of, of directors. On the channel. That's yeah, but oh, you gotta shit. have a satellite. You gotta have an eye in the sky. Mm. Satellite, couple radio towers. Yeah, right. So you're, you're understanding how 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 media works. Also, we're going into the future, and the future is gonna be what augmented reality, artificial intelligence, mm-hmm. the fusion between augmented reality and artificial intelligence, and that fusion will be the platforms that people create content on. Mm-hmm. So the future hasn't been built yet. Okay, the the future hasn't been built yet Mm -hmm. the full version of earth and augmented reality is still being built so we have to make sure that we have our hands in the pot being left out yeah for sure for so you like to get you're like to give information on our people type shit a million percent give it but also apply it and then lead by example yeah Mm -hmm. right like you know um right now we're, we're making a lot of money Selling products direct to consumer. I have a cosmetic line um, yeah. called the Mother's Love. I have an energy drink coming. I have a water coming. We still selling CDs because CDs is the vinyl, mm-hmm. right? I'm, I'm on tour right now. No labels tour. Mm-hmm. You know, you if you want to purchase tickets, you can go on my website, no labels tour dot com. You no can also dot com. Yeah, you can also call me nine one seven nine zero seven three six eight seven. Damn. You can go on Instagram, the Smart Guy underscore, um, and you can purchase a ticket or a T shirt. Or, you know, get some consultation or game, right? Mm-hmm. So, back to the point I'm making is, yeah. now is our time. This is our time. This is our moment. Mm-hmm. See? We've been consuming and building on things that we haven't owned for years. That's a fact. Now it's mm-hmm. time. Because, I mean, you guys are fearless. I can see it. You guys are fearless. You guys are creative. I mean, you're doing what the fuck you want. Basically, basically, yeah. right? You just graduated, so, yep. yeah, right. So you just graduated, yo. That's that's a big deal, yeah. right? Yeah, so you, what? You graduated college, high school, high, high school. school. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, so let me go, listen. Let me tell you something. So you graduated high school, right? You're going into college. Remember, when you go to college, you got to use school to pay for school while you're in school before you get out of school. That's it. Yep. You got to use school mm-hmm. to pay for school while you're in school before you get out of school. So you have to make sure you pick your 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 majors. Your majors should be monetizable. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you should work with an accountant. You should work with a certified public accountant. You should work with somebody. 
because the guidance counselors are full of shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So you need you need a, a, a you need a certified public accountant, someone to help you manage your money mm -hmm. expenses in terms of going into college, right? And if you guys, you should be definitely going to fucking NYU. NYU? Yeah, yeah. NYU Parsons. Um, you know, because new school, because this is where all the creatives are, are going. <laughs> and NYU Tisch Building, that's the film school, mm. right? Okay. So yeah, um, yeah. But I'm listening again. How um how did you gain the information that you that you give type shit? Like like where did it all started from? Yeah. Um, man, humble beginnings, right? You know, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Mm -hmm. No support from my mother. No support. No. Sometimes. Support. I wish I came from a different pussy. C-section. Even in birth, she didn't push me. <laughs> what? You know, shit was crazy, right? Every other week, you got a new man in the house. It's my mother. Yeah. You got the nerve to point to him like he the man of the house. And they all want me to call him dad. Damn. They all wanted me to call mm -hmm. him. Yo, bro, I grew up confused. Mm -hmm. I got beat till I was black and blue. No wonder why I'm in school acting a fool. Cutting class, picking fights. I couldn't follow the rules. Free lunch won't cut it. I'm still hungry. I need food. So I hooked up with Daryl. I'm selling weed now. <laughs> yeah, mama, I'm making moves. Yo, I... She put a pins warming out. Left me in the system. Plus, you ain't called back. They ain't love what you call that. If you ain't want a son, mama, shit, you should have left me in that ball sack. Hmm. Two sides to the story. So, yeah, yeah, I know, you, but how, I ain't happy. So how you stay so strong then? Because this is, this, I'm giving you the testimony first, right? Yeah. Two sides to the story. I ain't having it. Too many demons inside. I got to battle with. Fuck whoever trying to play devil's advocate. Y'all don't understand how real this is. I was just a kid, five. I look my mama in the eyes, half sleep, half high. And you wonder why I'm outside smoking weed, pistol in my pocket, throwing up gang signs. Mm -hmm. You a junkie, mama. How you gonna demand respect? I guess you beat me because I look like the man that left. Mm -hmm. It feels like God cursed me and my brothers. All I do is suffer, and the pain came from my mother. A rose won't grow from this concrete. Tupac, you tripping. Roots mm -hmm. getting pulled out, pedals getting stepped on. You came home high. You beat me half to death. Mm -hmm. You said that I slept wrong. Bloody tampons, empty bottles of liquor, cracked valves on the same bed I slept on. How the fuck mm. could I sleep wrong? You got me laying on a bed I could barely even sleep on. Mm. So that oh, that man. early beginning, right? You know, you know, being abused by my mother. I went through a lot of trauma with my mother. So mm. it, it, it it took my childhood away from me and it forced me to look at life at a real different from a real yeah. perspective, right? Yeah. At five. And at five years old, I'm in Covenant House. I'm in a shelter with my mom's. We get up in the morning. Old? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You know, you got the shelter. They got the women's shelter with it. Where you, you know, yeah, the bring woman and her son. Yeah, bring a kid. I'm there. And we get up in the morning. And, man, nobody's taking me to school. Right? My mother's supposed to be taking me to school. We, we leaving out. She going to get high. And she's leaving me. So you going to school, though? Right, so. I'm not even going to school. I'm hanging out with the other kids. And they not going to school. school. They cutting school. We Look, we running around Times Square. At five years old? Bro. Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember when I was five. Five. <laughs> no, listen, man. That hey, I... because maybe, you know, maybe we had different, you know, different like upbringings, upbringings, right? Yeah. Because what happens is when you go through that, so psycho it's, like, a tra it's a traumatic moment, so you yes, obviously you remember it. A child's learning curve is the, is the shortest from zero to seven. This is child psychology. Mm -hmm. So between the ages of zero and seven, you can learn everything. So if you're given advanced information and education between them ages, you're going to learn it. You're a sponge. So I got advanced hardship at five. You yeah. see? Mm -hmm. I got advanced like lifestyle at five. Like life was sitting at five years yeah, old. Yeah, so wow. it's like, okay, yeah, we we yeah, we more <laughs> yeah. mature. Yeah. You look at five years old today, you take a five year old from two thousand and twenty three mm -hmm. and then take a five year old from nineteen seventy five and put him in a time machine and put him it's in the same it's different. It's, it's completely way different. different. Technology, different. everything. They're talking the, the five year old, he he talking like a grown ass man. <laughs> you see? It's way different. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So it wasn't YouTube that 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 made made me advance. It was the it was the concrete. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was so 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 that first thing was it forced me to grow up and learn how to how to how to survive. Yeah. So now by the time I'm eight years old, I didn't I didn't sold everything. I didn't sold weed. I didn't sold metro cars. I didn't sold food. I didn't. You was a clothes. real hustler. Basically. Yeah. I was outside, and then so now I have this I have this respect for money. It's different, right? Like, because now I know, like, okay, look, I want to make money. By any means. Now I'm 10, 11 years old. It's, it's, it's about making money. Now it ain't about just sitting up playing video games because I don't have that luxury. Yeah. So now at that point, it's like, how do we make money? And then there's nobody there that's teaching us because we in the system. Yeah. Right? So now what we going to turn to? Crime, violence, robbing shit, beating niggas up, stealing clothes, 
beating white people up. I'm asking white people, yo, man, what time is it? You're looking down. I'm snuffing them. Oh, yeah, right. I know that move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I and we go in their pocket. That Fuck that. We go in their pocket. We're trying to eat. And then, you know, you get locked up. Then when you get locked up, that's when you start to read books. Oh, that's so that's where the information came from. Yeah, because now you can't run from yourself. Yeah. You, now you got nothing but, right. nothing but time. Right. Nothing right. but time. Mm -hmm. Shit. So your upbringing was way different from, from I'm going to say 99.9% of the different, people. Different, different, different people. Wait, yeah, so, for sure. So you really got your knowledge from like reading, reading books. books or just. No, really, really a combination of things. Reading books, living life, being in the system, going to prison, being homeless. Being in group homes, being in drug programs, being in foster homes, mm -hmm. right? You know, that that and all of those living experiences, I learned. Yeah. Right? So I learned that don't give the fiend the rock before you he give you the money. Because oh, he might swallow saying. it and run. It's over. I learned that in Delaware. I'm in <laughs> Delaware. I'm selling crack, right? You're Delaware, Delaware Dover. Too? Yeah, Delaware Dover. Delaware I'm selling Dover. crack. Spot crack. called Manchester, right? And I'm selling crack. And this is I, this is this is we learning we learning as we go, <laughs> right? Is crazy so I thought the white something. guy. I'm thinking the white guy. I'm thinking this guy was a cop. So I got my man from Jersey with me. I met him out there. I told my man, "Fuck that! I don't care if he, yo if he a cop, shoot him." And my man was just at the time he was just he was putting working for me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we follow the fiend to the one stop. We get to the one stop. He looking around all nerve. I'm thinking like. Yo, if he police, because sometimes it's the police, over, yeah. they, they want to buy. So they're yeah. going to have some money. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if he a cop or not. He got money in his real, we're going to rob him, and we're going to get away. Cop or not, we getting his bread. Yeah. So the fiend, <laughs> I give him the, I put the, I put the, he said he want a gram of crack. So I put the gram in his hand, and I'm looking around to make sure ain't no police there. <laughs> I look at him, he get up running. He go run, he run, he run to the store. I chase him in the store, hop over the counter. I'm trying to beat him to death. He take the crack, he swallow it. Oh, it's over. No, you can do after that. Right? I'm digging see. in his mouth. I'm to, <laughs> what? Bro, the mother. But the crazy shit is, I'm digging in his mouth, pause. And then I'm over the counter, yeah, beating big, him up and all that. Big pause. So, so I look up. That's a big pause. So I'm looking up at the camera. I'm like, oh, shit. Then I look up. My man, Jersey, he robbing the place. Nah. Whoa. <laughs> Two or one. I ain't like, you better Whoa. Swim, bro. So, I'm like, so I run out. And then, you know, that was crazy. We had police looking for us for a robbery. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So that shit was crazy. But what I'm saying is, is. So I learned from that experience, don't give a fiend no work until he give you the money. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? I see exactly what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. But you don't, you don't regret none of it, though. I'm gonna say nah, nah. Because it nah, made you who you are. You can't, see, regret, listen, you only have regret when you don't have time for redemption or space for redemption, right? Yeah, so right. I would probably regret it if I didn't have the opportunity or God didn't, or if God didn't grant me the grace to, to make things right now. Yeah. Right, so I can have a conversation with you brothers and say, "Yo, look, man, jail ain't it." Yeah. Everybody talking about spinning blocks and ops and W's yeah, and all the other let's, shit. Let's really talk about that, like, yeah, yeah, because motherfuckers ain't doing no time. Like I said, <laughs> if you stand up and listen, you get sentenced, right? I'm gonna tell you, this is what it looks like, okay? So if you're young, you go to Rikers Island, you ain't got no gun, you you probably gonna get beat the fuck up, police <laughs> is gonna beat you up, whatever, right? So that's what you realize if you tough or not, right? So I was tough with a gun and I was tough without a gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to tell you because I was tough with a gun and tough without a gun, being tough ain't it. It's not it. I'd rather be pussy. <laughs> That's the only thing I regret. That I wasn't a pussy. Because maybe I was a pussy, life would have been a little more less abrasive, right? Yeah. So, you know, you, 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 you go to jail, you catch a charge. When you get sentenced, all the hoes... Clothes and bank rolls, they go. They go. All the homies, everything is gone. Nobody's there. Gone. Only nobody person that's there you. is your moms, your aunt, your grandmother. It's somebody that really loves you that's going to be there in court when you get sentenced. And you're standing up in front of the judge, and you feel light as a fuck. You can't even breathe. Cause they that's control the everything 40, in that room. That's yeah. the feeling. You, you can't 40. even. You not nah, fuck forty, man. You you get hit with you get hit with anything. <laughs> it ain't it, it ain't it. But you know you get five, ten, twelve, fifteen years. Now you sitting in there. <laughs> And you look over your shoulder, only people you see is your moms, your aunt, yeah, maybe a brother if you're lucky. If Nobody you're lucky. from your block, no friends, no bros, none of that. And people not talking about that. Then when you get sentenced, it's hard because at the end of the day, ain't nobody coming to visit you. Ain't nobody yeah, leaving yeah. no commissary. You sick. Yeah. So why would I? It's not like a GTA where you shoot somebody and they respawn. Or you, you get five stars and you can run in the sergeant. It's real life. So the thing about it is, 
the people who talk about this gangster shit ain't really never do gangster shit. They never did no time. Never did because no time. anybody who do gangster shit, they'll tell you being gangster ain't it. Ain't it. That's not and that's really some bullshit. Listen, I'm in Southport Box. I cut two people, right? Like, I cut two people, mm -hmm. right? Took a scalpel, right? I cut him from the top of his head to his fucking, fucking uh, 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 chest cavity. Lord. Open his whole face. Lord. He, he, he right? went to the gulag. Listen, man. He going? He going. Listen. Ripped his whole shit open, right? I'm going to the box. I'm doing 15 months in the box. 15 months? 15 months now. This is the jail Jeez. inside the jail. Right? Yeah, so now the box. The this is, we in South Pole box. Now my bunkie, my bunkie got life. Now look. This is what they don't tell you. <clears throat> when you go to the box... You might have a booty banded bunkie. <laughs> no. Now he want to take your butt. <laughs> no, what? Yo. Some dudes, you can hear him screaming at night. Know what I mean? They, they, <laughs> they went from King Vaughn to Megan Stallion. Nigga. Now you up in there. Now you up she in there popping running. like it's hot. <laughs> yeah. King Vaughn Think who Stallion. next. Like, this is oh, what people man. don't talk about. Right? And this is real life. Real life. Is real life. So I'm in a box with my bunkie. Right? Yeah. So he know what I'm in there for. So he know I'm in there for cuttings. He in there for stabbings. Right? So I'm excited because, you know, we, 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 I'm, I'm like, ah, I'm with a killer. Mm. So yeah. I'm like, yo, man, what it's like? <laughs> right? I want to know because yeah. all I thought was I wanted to prove myself. I thought that being, being tough or being gangster was the move. So my bunkie, he's telling me like, yo, young blood, this shit whack. <laughs> yo, yo, this is what he tell us. Yeah. my man. They call him powerful. This is my man. Yeah. This dude's like a father figure to me, bro. Cause I thought, but I reminded um, him so much of himself when he was younger. So that's why. And he like, was like, he's like, you got it all fucked up. Cause I thought it was all about being gangster and being and this like is somebody tough that and really, that, that really, really did looking, it. Yeah. So now look, he got, he had, well, he had, he had eleven murders, right? Eleven murders. Mm. Got life, natural life in prison. He's not coming home, right? And he killed somebody in prison, right? Mm. So he's telling me, he like, yo, bro, like, if I could go home, I would work in McDonald's. Mm. Like niggas try to downplay McDonald's. Whole time yo, somebody want to work there, there work again that, life. Yo, listen, you go to jail, you're going to work for two cents an hour. Two cents an hour? Two cents an hour. Two Real talk. An hour. You work for two cents an hour, but you won't come home and work for 20 hours an hour, eight minimum, minimum wages and going 15, up. Yeah, yeah, 15 years. And, 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 and when you making money illegally, it don't last. It's not sustainable. Yeah. So you have a little today, but you have none tomorrow. Yeah. But when you do it the right way, and there's no wrong way to do right, you have a little bit of money today, and... Uh, a little bit of money tomorrow, yeah, yeah. but you still got money today. You still got money, money tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. You do it the wrong way. You might have more money today, but no money tomorrow, That's or dark. no freedom or life tomorrow. So this is what people got to be talking about. We got to make it cool to do this. This is this is the new. This is the new way. Yeah, your your, your well, op should be, be Netflix. Spotify. Your op should be Hulu. Spotify. It's a, it's not cool to do a lot of things now though. But back. No, to no. You. Listen, no. Listen. This it is cool because you got. A motherfucker that ain't walking no shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, I shot people, for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shot people. I've been stabbed in the head. I've been hit by a car. I got high-speed car keys with the police. I kidnapped people. Like, I I, I actually robbed somebody and, and, and duct taped them like a fucking mummy and took all their drugs. You live in GTA. Right? It's Listen, GTA I did this for real, though. Listen what I'm saying. Like, 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 like I really, like, duct taped a motherfucker up like a mummy. His hands all crazy, right? Oh, yeah. Seriously. No cap. And no cap. On my dead grandpa, I swear to God, like, look at me, I'm serious, like, wrap him up, duct tape, all that, right? Seriously. So, so, I'm telling you that this is better than that, that, that so-called tough that? shit. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to talk to people who really get busy. Because the ones who get busy, they're going to tell you, like, yo, man, this, this ain't really it. it. So, it, so you tell so, me. So, so, it's either, listen, even go two ways, right? The person that find a way, he'll tell you, like, look, this ain't it, you could do this. The person that didn't find a way and they still doing wrong, they still doing dirt, they're not happy about it. They just don't know no other way. And by default or habit, they still they still getting busy. Mm -hmm. But if they if you ask them about it, they'll tell you, man, look, man. It's not it. It's not it's it. So, it bro. so when you was in the cell, it hit different when um he told you it was not it. Like what was Yeah, because we both in the cell. He got life. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got <clears> I he showed me pictures of his daughter. So his daughter's um powerful was like powerful was like sixty three. Right? Mm -hmm. His daughter was his daughter was like in her thirties or whatever. So he showed me a picture. Like when, when when she was born, he was free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He got he he caught his he caught his charge like a couple months later. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. came. So his wife at the time was bringing his daughter. So he showed me in in jail 
every visit from her being a baby to being a grown woman. Yeah. So I seen her grow up. Literally in pictures. You know? In pictures, pictures with true. him in a cell. And when he and when he was breaking it down to me, he started to cry. And I looked at him, I was like, oh shit. I felt that. I, I almost cried. I was like, yo, this shit. <laughs> nah, bro, fuck that. I'm trying to be free. Yeah. I'm trying to be free. So a song, listen, let me tell you something. The time you get for a body and the time it takes to listen to a song about a body ain't the same, homie. Facts. I have a right? Question. Hold on. Oh. A drill song is how many minutes? Two minutes Two and minutes. 42 seconds. <laughs> a lifetime I... sentence is your life, your bro. Life. So a song is two minutes and some change for in exchange for your life. So you 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 gassed off of some shit for two minutes. You, two minutes, yeah. Get us, uh, get it, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yo, um, excuse me, Mr. Stevenson, stand up. Yeah, for we, we, you're found guilty, first degree murder. <laughs> you got two hundred years. You're done. You sitting there sick for two minutes. <laughs> now nah, I'm even, good, bro. You didn't even hear that right. You didn't even hear that right. I'm good. You can't. This is cool. Yeah, a man. person that ain't in you niggas is rats. So how you gonna tell me this ain't cool and you ain't even got the fucking nuts or mm -hmm. character to stand with honor? You see? Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So man, fuck no everybody. Listen, this is it. <clears throat> this is the best thing. You gonna stay free, right? You gonna get no some crawl. pussy. <laughs> you gonna get your dick wet, right? You gonna get your bank account full, right? This yep, is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah next man. Wave, next gen. So like, what, 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 what's the first thing you did? Like when you came out? Like, I got a gym membership thing? and library card. The first, first thing you did. Thing. First thing I did because I was prepared. You like know. How long ago did you get out? A couple years back. I've been home for I've been home for some time now. Been home for a couple <clears> years. It's been some years now since so I've been home. All right. But the first thing I did was I got a gym membership. And I got a library card because because my like my lex because what I was doing was I was asking people who got violated so people would leave from jail mm -hmm. and two weeks later they'd come right Coming back. back in. So I would ask everybody that came back to jail, what you do? What happened? What, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I knew, I said, okay, I got to keep my body intact and I got to keep my mind intact. So mm -hmm. that's why I got the gym membership and I got the library, library card. card. And I didn't really care about, I wasn't chasing no pussy because none of you bitches wrote me. Oh. So I was already good on that. Yeah. You feel me? And I wasn't going to smoke and drink because I didn't need to run from myself. See, a lot of motherfuckers be smoking and drinking too much because they don't want to look in the mirror and really face themselves. And look at yourself and see who the fuck you really are. Yeah. So in prison it's a, it's made me look at myself. Drug. It's a getaway so, drug. so right, a getaway drug is escapism. Yeah. So when I when I faced myself, when I came home, I didn't need I didn't need to run from myself. I was cool with myself. <laughs> like I was good with myself. Was I was really, okay. Yeah. I was like, I'm fuck that. Yeah. So let me stay focused. Mm. And then that was the hardest thing, right? Because I had to believe in something that I knew was coming that I couldn't see in the present moment. Right? Delayed gratification. Feel me? That's everything. Delayed gratification. What's that? So what it, what it means is when you, if you do 200 sit-ups right now, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you might not get a six-pack. Right? Yeah. You do 200 sit-ups every single day for 200 days, you're going to have a fucking six-pack. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So the time it took to get the six-pack while doing the work is delayed gratification. The gratification is the reward for the work that you're putting in. Mm -hmm. But it takes time to get the benefits from that so you got to put the work in this right here is delayed yeah, gratification yeah. Mm -hmm. right because you guys are going to be bigger than joe rogan you guys are going to have 20 million subscribers mm -hmm. but what are you guys going to do you guys are going to stay consistent mm -hmm. you guys are going to get a content calendar mm -hmm. right you're going to identify the content that you got to create from monday to sunday you guys are going to create a ad an ad team not just google ads now okay you're going to reach out to small companies you're in the neighborhood right now there's a lot of small businesses mm -hmm. that nobody knows about we live in harlem we never even seen some of these fucking stores. <laughs> what, what, what's that spot they, they had over there? Like pink, what is it? Pink, Pinkberry. Oh, y'all know. We just oh, see. No. We just look. You yeah, see that? That's Pink a check, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you, you get some. You get some free ad space for now. So what I'm saying is, is you're gonna you're gonna make a list of all the companies and small businesses, mm -hmm. right, in this area, up to up to two hours, mm -hmm. two hours in, in in different directions from here. You make a list of the small companies, and then you send them videos and emails and say hey look i'll let my audience know about your business for five dollars for five dollars that's how you start five dollars really? right five dollars <clears throat> and i add and our ad space is performance based exactly. when you as you see more people come to your place and spend money on our behalf 
we shall increase our ad space based upon the performance oh, yeah. and the results of the ads that you run with us. That's what you guys are going to do. And you're going to make this a multi-million dollar company. And then you're going to talk to the people behind the camera. And if they don't get on board, fuck them. Because the person behind the camera is nothing without the person in front of the camera. The problem is the person behind the camera feels like they're so in power when mm -hmm. this shit doesn't move without y'all. That's a fact. We are the energy. We are the culture, right? Mm. So what you're going to do is you're going to know your fucking worth and you're going to have strategic partnerships. It's a company called CSI Rentals and Adorama Rentals, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you, you got that? CSI Rentals? Yeah, put it in yeah, your phone. Adorama Look it up right Rentals. now. Yeah, it's right there. It, 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 hopefully, knows. hopefully, cause you got two G speed over there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, it don't take you this whole interview to, to get to get Google and shit, man. Okay, CSI Rentals. Okay, the best one is on 14th Street Union Square. It's in the Union Square area. CSI Rentals. That's where you're gonna get all your cameras from, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this together for you right now. CSI Rentals. This is what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna get a content calendar. You're gonna make a schedule, a real mm -hmm. schedule, and you're gonna fucking stick to it. Then you're going to have a reinforcement calendar. Your reinforcement calendar is going to be the things that motivate you to have the highest levels of productivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then your revenue calendar is the financial goals for this. You're going to make money mm -hmm. off the businesses, paying for ad space. You got before the video, in the video, conversation. Like we said, what's that place called? Pink? That's, that's 50 bucks right there they're paying for. For the video. Yeah. Right? Now, you're going to rent your own cameras. And you're going to shoot the same way you shoot this here. This is how you know if the people behind the camera fuck with you. Mm. Okay? So for artists, get, so for, let's say for artists getting a record deal. And I, I, got a really, I got a really good friend of mine. He's fucking amazing. He's from Brooklyn. I can't remember his name. What, what's his name, G? He's a really him, good friend. Really <laughs> good friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They call, him, they, call him, they call him. They call him Gritty. I think they call him Gritty. They call him Gritty. He's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good, amazing artist, right? So let's say my friend Gritty is trying to get a record deal. Yeah. I'm against it. I'm on a tour right now. No, no labels tour, right? And, he's gonna, and they're going to give my friend Gritty a 360 deal. Yeah. What I would advise Gritty to do is hire his own staff, ask them to give him an advance, and that advance should be the amount it takes to, for payroll for a year of staff. And then I would get the money from the label to pay my staff and then have my staff shadow the label staff, right, so we can increase revenue. And then I would do a strategic partnership between my staff and the label and the staff label. so it's not conflict of interest. So I say I want to do good business, right? Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to just rest my career in your hands. Same thing you're going to do with, with the podcast, with the show. Mm -hmm. So the people who, who, who own all this shit, because you don't fucking own it, mm -hmm. right? You're going to say, okay, I'm going to go CSI Rentals, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get more. So every camera and mic, you're going to match them for cameras and mics. For your first episode, Jita, when we leave, we're going to get them their info. This first episode, I'm gonna invest in a rental so you can your your very next episode, mm -hmm. okay? If it's in in on condition that it, you, you, I need you to interview um, my boy over there, Gritty, because he's from Brooklyn. All mm -hmm. right. Matter of fact, Gritty, pull up, man. Yo, G, yo, 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 let Gritty sit in the middle, man. I think so. I think so. Gritty was a a friend that oh, I didn't know he was here. Yeah, he ain't catch on. It's okay. He's a little slow. It's all right. Too little slow. It's okay. We're doing wrong. Just sit right there. Sit right there. Sit right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah, look. I mean, a little chocolate sandwich over there, man. All right, so check it, right? So now, so hold on. So, no, he's on. He's not now. He's just here. You know what I mean? So, under conditions that you interview him next, I'll finance the things for the cameras, right? So, you put a camera next to each one of their cameras, right? And then you shoot your episode. So, as they're shooting your episode, you're troubleshooting, learning how to shoot your own episodes. That makes sense. Right? And then now you can say, hey, look, let's partner up because we can make this a network. So yeah. now if they're still willing to work with you, now that's good business. Now you say, okay, look, man, we're going we're gonna to work really hard on advertisement, right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna come with a seat at the table. If you don't respect my seat, fuck you and oh, fuck oh, your table because yeah. now I know the business. Then you're going to go on peerspace.com. Peer Put this space. in your phone. P-E-E-R space.com. They got venues just like this for fifteen dollars an hour. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars an hour, just like this, even bigger, okay? And then that's the location. That's your contingency plan if they own some fuck shit. <laughs> and they shouldn't be because the culture, the culture is 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 us now, okay? It runs on us. Right. Yeah. We got to listen. Go ahead. 
What are you talking about? No, no, no. He's, he, no, he's just there, oh, man. He just, I just told you. He just I just told you under conditions. He's next. He's not now, man. Let my man just chill, man. Let him be cool breeze, man. I see what you're saying. saying. Man, so you came home. It's about me right now, man. So library card gym membership. You just got to it. I got right to it. What book? What books was you reading? The Quran first. The Quran. Okay. The Quran. Is that like um? A tradition in, in prison? It's like a religion thing. Yeah, I'm Muslim. Like a, absolutely. Everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. I didn't want to mess up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta. No, it's all good. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah. I just I heard about it before. <laughs> it's like it's like the Bible for, but um, Muslim people for mm-hmm. sure. It's a beautiful book, man. You should check right. it out. Let's so it out. the Quran was the first thing, right? Then it was a um, the the message to the um, the message to the black man by Elijah Muhammad. Mm-hmm. The, every black man should read that. The, the message to the, the black man. The message to the black man. Mm-hmm. So this is this is an order. Then uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, the autobiography of Asada Shakur. Soul on Ice by Eldridge Cleaver. And, you know, these was, you know, so it was a little bit of um, theology, self-help, and revolutionary books. Mm-hmm. The revolutionary books gave me the fire to talk, to think independent. To mm-hmm. think like, yo, look, man, y'all ain't, because people from other cultures make themselves seem like they bigger than us. So the same camera, that same Lumex shit right there, you can get from CSI Reynolds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you could go to the person that you interview and say, look, bro, I'll shoot your videos and all that. Just go half with me or pay for the episodes. You can have your guests pay for the equipment. And to the, mm-hmm. av- and to the, mm-hmm. ad, and to the ad revenue, mm-hmm. pays for the equipment. Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's, it's beneficial to the guest because the guest needs the content. I would pay for that. I'm going to pay for that. <laughs> because you're black right so the revolutionary books gave me a sense of self like i care about you because you is me and i'm you we each other right so you're basically yeah. saying like i'm god and you're god a million percent basically yes everyone is god no no no, 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 no. Well, i mean black person is god there you go get it right please get it please get it right <laughs> man. please get it right and that's the problem because we don't do know you, who we are do you still read books till today of course i read a book a day for real yeah it takes yeah. two hours a lot of people won't do that so, so no they will Don't speak into existence Check it out So how you do it is You got to timeline your day That's why I say What you guys should do You guys got to get a content calendar It's 24 hours in a day When you're under 24 You should be sleeping Under 4 hours mm-hmm. Because your body Has enough energy to, 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 to be productive At that level mm-hmm. That's why they say The youth is based on the young Because when you're young You don't go as hard as you could Then when you get older You regret it This motherfucker behind the camera He's old as shit Shout out to Alan Houston Yeah you're old man Don't don't deny it You're <laughs> old Yes you are So if he could be your age He would do things differently If he's keeping it real If he's not He's, he's, not, he's not real to me Because mm-hmm. if I was Fucking 19 18 again what, mm-hmm. Oh fuck that Let's go I'm, work, I'm pulling all nighters <laughs> give, co- give me coffee Give me Let's go <laughs> Whatever 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 prescription pill they got, <laughs> load me up, baby. I might do a line of coke in this bitch. I'm let's go. Let's fuck it. <laughs> because what happens is, listen, bro. When you're young, you want to be old. When you're old, you want to be young. young. These your That's best years. You gotta go harder. You should only be sleeping three hours a day right now. Three hours. You were three just, hours. You were just talking listen, about that. Listen, this is this is that. how you sleep. Only three hours, but you gotta stay hydrated. You gotta eat fruits. You can't eat carbs in the morning when you wake up. The first thing you eat when you wake up should be pineapples, cranberries. Goji berries, mm-hmm. right? Half a gallon of water. You work out, you pray, and you look in the mirror and say, I'm a God. I'm a God. I'm a God. I'm a God. I'm mm-hmm. a God. Well, who am I? 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 You got to really start yelling at you. Who am I? Because it's going to activate. Right now, it's like your cords is like a little bit disconnected. When mm-hmm. you start connecting with who you are, you're going to move mountains, bro. That's why I say how you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. Right. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. I care about my people, so I don't give a fuck about other people. I be having some issues with other cultures, bro. Mm-hmm. You don't go by no Jewish neighborhood and see no little fucking Goldstein fucking fake Jew on the, on a the T-shirt, do you? Mm-hmm. You don't see no fuck. You go to Chinatown, you don't see no Jackie Chan looking motherfucker on a wall, huh? Mm-hmm. Talking about rest in peace, link candles. We the only <laughs> motherfuckers in the hood getting stains, bro. Stains, yeah. That shit make me sick. There's kids right now, yo, real talk, bro. There's kids right now that's not going to see 2024. And that shit around the corner, bro. It's, it it got to stop. And it's, and it's going to stop. It's stopping now because it's information. Some people he, don't, yo, some the people dude don't edit, know. Listen, real talk, yeah. let me say something, bro. The dude editing the video and don't do nothing you can't do. We edit the video. That's fact. Mm-hmm. Listen what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. So you got to know how to partner up and show love. That's why I put my, I, this is my brother. Yo, bro, come on. Let me get, shed the light, right? Yeah. Then you got to understand infrastructure and staffing and team. Oh, we changing, baby. 
Mm-hmm. And we got 400 plus years. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Fuck you. Fuck how you feel. Oh, my God, you're racist. Yeah, I don't like white people. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I don't fuck with y'all. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, don't like, I don't like Chinese people. I don't like fake oh, yeah. Jewish I see, people. I, mm-hmm. I don't fuck with them. Yeah, you know how I give yeah. it up, right? Yeah. So we got, so listen, let me ask you a question. If your mother was raped mm-hmm. by 40 guys, they peed on her, poured gasoline on her, hunger, set her on fire, and was taking pictures for, for Instagram, laughing and smiling, would you be cool with them? No. Yeah, what no. would you do? I'll get back. What's the get back? I don't really know. You know, when you're mad, it's just different. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, you 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 ain't gonna be high fiving and smiling and keep kid, is mm-hmm. you? No. Mm-mm. Get back. I still feel I still feel some type of way about what they did to my people 400 years ago and what they still doing to us, bro. So my energy for them is like, fuck them. We don't need them. Mm-hmm. They act like they don't need us, but they need us because we everything. Mm-hmm. We are superior. We are superior. We are a superior race. Mm-hmm. And every other race knows it. That's why they try to keep us sleep. They try to keep us, not the females, you, us, the men. Mm-hmm. You a god. Don't be nothing less. Mm-hmm. So you got to get your own seat at the table mm-hmm. and say, this is how we doing it. We can do good business, but I can't be under you. We can do bit because I can promise you, when you start scaling and doing more, you don't see the respect. It got to be respect, bro. Mm-hmm. And you got to study history, your history, not his, not fake social studies. His, not his. Yeah, fake yeah. So the yeah. shit they teach us in yeah, school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit ain't real? Yeah, that shit ain't real? Yeah, that shit ain't real. Oh, man. Stop it. They told you Christopher Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just Who the fuck is Christopher Columbus? <laughs> man, we, yeah. listen. They told you Mexicans look like Spanish. We the original Mexicans. You better understand. Yo, you know you, we the original. <laughs> it'll bug out. Listen, once you know who you are, it's that first thing of you feel like, oh, you robbed me. Hold up. Hannibal the Great, he say he's from he from he, from, he say he's Sicilian, mm-hmm. right? You know, people who are Sicilian, they 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 got black in them because Hannibal the Great from Carthage conquered. He rode on elephants. He trained elephants. Have you ever seen the movie Three Hundred, right? And they had this scene where all the guys were riding elephants, and then none of them was black. <laughs> Leonidas was it? Oh, it, that was. You, oh, you thought Leonidas was Leonidas? It's a black guy. Yeah. They remix all our stories. So you, That's Shaka Zulu. You said Shaka, Shaka Zulu. Zulu. What you mean? You better you better go study. You oh you don't know you didn't know Leonidas was Shaka Zulu. Mm. Oh you thought the shit. Go look at the Zulu warriors. Mm-hmm. Go study your history first. And then you you said oh did you know that the X Men was African gods and Stan and Stan Lee got all his ideas from African gods. Stan Lee. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about the, uh, the X Men. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like seriously. So again, when you don't know yourself, you don't know how versions of you has been remixed and re and rebranded other to make people. it seem like it's other people when it's really us. us. So when you understand that, you go, oh, I'm not gonna get drunk off nostalgia, but I'm gonna get motivated by nostalgia and say, if I was that yesterday, woo, what I'm gonna be to today? Mm-hmm. We all know George Gervin was nice. We know George Gervin was nice. You know, Clyde, wait, wait, what's his name? Walt Frazier. You got a Knicks hat on. Help me out, G. What's the guy's name for the Knicks? Walt Clyde Frazier was nice. Put him on the court with John Moran right now. <laughs> he gonna get sm- Alan Houston is my man. It's my friend. Seriously, Alan Houston is my friend. Like, it's my friend. Person mm. calling. It's my friend. His house and all that. It's my man. <laughs> Seriously. It's my guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's Steph my guy. Curry would bust his ass. I mean, this is, Alan Houston was the man. You get what I'm saying? So, if we know who he was yesterday... Oh my God! Who are we gonna be today? We're gonna be better. Yeah. If we built the pyramid years, what are we gonna build today? You shit me. It's gonna be different. So you're gonna be confident. You're gonna be confident. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be confident in your greatness, and you're only gonna do things that match your greatness. You're not gonna do things that is less of who you are because you know who you are. Mm-hmm. Kings don't do peasant shit. Yeah. You see, you're not gonna see a eagle. Live a lifestyle of a pig. Eagles fly. They got great eyesight. They see and they go, right? Pigs rolling shit, piss, <laughs> pus, right? Yeah. You ain't porky porky, man. Shit. Go them. God damn. <laughs> that's the preacher. Oh, huh? man. It's the preacher. No, no, no. Not the preacher. 
See, because you try to downplay it, I get it. See, that's the white man in your head right now. No, nah, I'm not yeah. downplaying it. No, you can't listen. We ain't preaching shit. We, we speaking. Not nah, like talking facts. We ain't preaching. No, because when you say preaching, you could lose some audience, right? We could lose. I'm listening, bro. Mm -hmm. I sold crack. Mm -hmm. I beat niggas up. Mm -hmm. I took people jury. Mm -hmm. I shot people. Fucked all the bitches you want. <laughs> I got that drip on. I'm always putting that shit on. Mm -hmm. Driving foreign cars, yeah. Maserati trucks, every, I mean, you name it. Damn, I'm on. really getting money. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm really getting money. I really wow. made a million independent, bro. Mm -hmm. I never sold my soul. Mm -hmm. Not a homosexual. Not emasculated. Mm -hmm. My voice don't get low when white people walk in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really him. Mm -hmm. So it's not about preaching. It's about, yo, I'm saying something because I'm supposed to. Oh, like giving the information that yo, you know, bro, I'm that's supposed, supposed to be given. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm supposed to. I see what you're Why saying. Why you think Jewish people, other cultures win? Because they shit. It's called nepotism. They pass on information. Mm -hmm. A lot of black people can't pass on information because they did some funny shit to get in position. Like take dick in their butt. So they can't oh, even man. help you. They can't even keep it real with you. They can't yeah, even open yeah. no doors for you because they got emasculated. Then they blackmail and they bonded by pictures of, of cock in their butt because they oh, can't even man. help you. So a lot of people in jail, that's what happened to them? Not in jail, man. A lot of people in the industry, bro. In the industry? Yeah, man. What you I seen about? I seen um you were saying that in an interview, but I was not like really in tune, like to really know exactly like people what you were trying like to say. That to get Pat, it's called it's hazing. So what it is is yeah. if you What's go to college, yeah. if you go to college, right, and mm -hmm. you get in fraternity, right, mm -hmm. and you wanna you wanna be a pledge, right, you gotta go through hazing, the embarrassing, stupid shit. Like, they make you walk in the cold oh, with yeah, your pants like, out, yeah. all types of stupid shit. They get a big paddle, spank you on the butt, dumb shit like that, right? So what happens is the people who are in positions of power in those fraternities, they freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it becomes this type of a dominatrix, weirdo, homosexual, dominant desire they have to play with men, but this is true. And then what happens is they got all the money in the world, so you coming from the hood, just want to be a rapper. Just want to be a rapper. You're going to do whatever. Nobody going to know. Yeah, nobody going to know. <laughs> nobody going to know. <laughs> You blowing cock for some for some <laughs> for some deals, and then when you try to speak out and say, and you like, wait a minute, okay, man, you you you've been okay, man. You know, I, I agreed to to suck three cocks, man, but twenty five, crazy, twenty five. Then now selling your soul, the price of selling your soul becomes too high. Now the money you pay, the money you got, the money you got from 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 selling your soul ain't worth it, and the shit you got to trade for the money they giving you, you 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 like fuck this, it ain't even, so now you like no no more no more huh? Then they blackmail you. Too late. Right? They keep you silent. For me, I never folded, so I could always speak with no problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. cause you don't got like somebody like I never let nobody you. put no dick in my butt. Basically. <laughs> yeah, and I never will. Basically. You never sold your and soul. And I never never will. Mm -hmm. And I never, I never look at any man lesser than me. I'm a god. I'm the original. Look at everybody mm -hmm. as equal. Oh no, 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 no. Black no. people, white man under me, baby. Mm -hmm. There's no equals in this game. I feel what you're saying. The problem is we've been the 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 greatest trick the devil the devil did three great tricks, right? Mm -hmm. The greatest trick the devil ever did was convince man that he exists, convince man that he doesn't exist, and convince God that he was a man. See. Convince you that he did exist, meaning he has more power than you. Convince mm. you that he doesn't exist, that he's not in there throwing shit in the game. Yeah. Mm. And convincing you to think that you're a man when you're really a god. Oh god. You see? Yeah. You understand? So when you know who you are, now you're going to be who you are. You're going to talk with confidence. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have no tolerance for people trying to treat you some type of way. Yeah. See? So it's not preaching, it's teaching. Yeah, like I seen you say something. Um, there was this one time you said something. It was like, um, if Jay Z walk in a room, fuck my no Jay Z. Jay Z sold the soul. Fuck Jay Z. What the fuck you mean, Jay Z? Yeah. Listen, Marcy Projects is taking the whole area. Yeah, of Marcy Projects I, is that, controlled by Jews. Talking, that's what I was talking about earlier. And I and and, and, and I went into detail. Everybody told you talking about you a billionaire. Why? What Jay Z should have did? What? First of all, let's 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 backtrack, right? Yeah. Once you on camera doing shit like this, shit like this, shit like this, shit. You showing signs and symbols of being in a fraternity that in order to get at the higher levels of that fraternity, you got to do some gay shit. Mm -hmm. So you already let me know you on some play play shit. That's one. Number two, what have you done with the money? Marcy Project still looks like shit. Mm -hmm. 
Literally, yeah, that should have How does a community get revitalized? A community gets revitalized by institutions to change the mindset of the people that live in that community and contractor companies, right? You need contractors. You need contractors. Jewish neighborhoods, me and my manager was just driving past a Jewish neighborhood, and we seeing stone, sugar, all types. Yeah. of be like, what the fuck? They got, they got contractors. They got contractor companies, right? So what, what Jay-Z was supposed to do is you build contractor companies in Marcy. You invest in the community that, in, that, that can clean up itself. Mm -hmm. You see? The Brooklyn Nets was supposed to be Jay-Z, Bob Johnson, and Magic Johnson. Yeah. So he did a backdoor deal to cut out Bob and, and, and Magic, Magic. To only have less than 1% to let the Russians come in and take the whole shit over. To give him a little stupid rocket wish on the side of it, only for that shit to be gone, and then he, then he gets the boot. Because you so focused on good business and OPM at the expense of your own people, fuck Jay. He a culture vulture. He's a piece of shit. I don't like Jay Z. I don't support him. Fuck him. Yeah, and that's what I meant by that. Do look like shit. No cap. Because what happens is everybody wants to be associated. It's a house nigga syndrome. You want to be associated to the white man. I'm doing deals. Rock Nation is Live Nation. Jay got a 360 deal. Rock Nation is called Rock Nation because he got a 360 deal with Live Nation. Hmm. See, he's not even an owner. He's not even a fucking boss. And everybody around him is not even rich. The fuck out of here. Like, how? Memphis Bleak has what? Warehouse? Like, he, like what is Bleak doing? It's supposed to be a right-hand man. Mm -hmm. Bleak should be as big as Leo Cohen's. He's not. And whatever Jay do with his money is cool, because what he eat don't make me shit. What he drink don't make me pee. I don't care about what Jay-Z do, but I'm not going to sit here and, and, and dick ride or give you some kudos, and you ain't doing shit for us. Yeah. And you making it seem like you doing shit for us, but you really ain't doing shit for us. And mm. where, even where you from, you ain't doing shit from where you from. If you could, if you could name some things that's wrong with the uh, society right now, what would it be? My name was right with the society right now. We got opportunity. We got technology. Mm -hmm. We in the times of David and Goliath. Technology is a slingshot. So you're saying that's the best times to be alive right now? Yeah. Technology is a slingshot. David and Goliath. Google it. The story of David and Goliath. We are in the times of David and Goliath, and technology is the slingshot, and the rock inside the slingshot is collaboration. But that collaboration has to be horizontal and not vertical. Vertical meaning like people who are at the top. Horizontal meaning like this, peer to peer. Mm. This is this is this is the rock. This is the this is how we slay the slay the giants, right? By working together, grassroots level, mm -hmm. and and anybody that don't respect it. We fuck fuck out of here because we don't need you. And I'm stressing that. I'm st like, I'm stressing that. Okay? I'm stressing that. We have to because there's no respect. And I don't know this man. He seems like a good guy. He mm -hmm. gave me good energy when I see him. But a lot of people don't respect us because they feel we don't do for self, but we've been conditioned not to do for self. And then everything that we put in place institutional-wise, to do for self has been attacked by the government, Pro, CIA, J. 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 Ever, J. Edgar Hoover. They created a whole fucking organization to destroy the Black Panther Party and the Black Liberation Army when all we were trying to do was yeah, build community. Right, yeah. Black Wall Street was fucking bombed. So don't tell me I'm not doing for self. Yeah. I have a... Pow! You're dead. You see? Mm. So don't act like this has been... Uh, a, a, a uninterrupted road of opportunity for us as in, in, in America, right? But now, the thing about it is, it's so much media, technology, and cameras everywhere, you're hard-pressed to, you're hard, you'll be hard-pressed to create another issue. So they have to be more, more, more slick with systematic racism. They have to evolve it. Mm -hmm. Make it hidden? Yes, but hide it in plain sight and use media to condition you to be a homosexual to condition you to be emasculated, to condition you to be a nigga, 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 drill, 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 drill. Mm. But not to tell you, <laughs> but not to tell you to be a god, not to tell you to, to cr be a decimal creator, not to tell you to get a satellite, not to tell you to get dual citizenship, not to tell you to create import export businesses, mm -hmm. not to tell you to have real fucking trades. You guys are going into college. You gotta get trades. Ain't just about going to school, getting a nah, degree. We're not getting, we're going to college. Well, I'm not going to college. You gotta go to college. No. I'm going Listen, to trade school. No, no. You gotta go to college because the college is the relationships. So you mm -hmm. have to go to you got you have to go to a college that's relevant to what you're doing, and then the relationships you develop in college helps after college. So you're going to build relationships and acquire skill. Example: You're going to be in media. So if you go to NYU, you go into Tisch Building. That's the film school. Mm -hmm. They got like a twenty-five million dollar fucking ed the, the, the editing software they got in NY in Tisch is is bro like you can't afford that shit. 
Yeah. It's like fucking twenty five million dollars worth of software. Twenty five million dollars. No, literally. That's tough. No, seriously, seriously. I'm not even no cap. So, <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is right. That's why I said sure. use school to pay for school while you're in school before yeah. you go to high school. So the ads that you're running while being in Tish gonna look a whole lot better if you wasn't. So you could take what's that company, Pinkberry? You can take Pinkberry <laughs> and make that shit look like the pinkest berry on the fucking planet. planet. Nobody knows about it. Right? So don't listen. You need college, but you gotta be intentional and strategic with college. Like don't waste your time. And you're not because you're getting this information. Mm -hmm. College is a beautiful thing when you know how to leverage it. College is necessary, but not for no reason. Right? It's like getting in a car that got full gas and just doing donuts. For two days straight, you're like, okay, man, like three seconds, cool. But after that, What's all right, I'm uh, yeah. okay. I think I only got the car, man. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like yeah. you just go in the circles, like fuck this, right? Yeah. But imagine if you go to school and you learning, you learning special effects. Uh, you, what the shit? C, uh, CGI. You learning CGI. CGI. Yeah. You learning special effects makeup, right? You 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 could take podcasts. You could take this shit to a whole nother level of production, right? Like, mm -hmm. and then you meeting people from all over the world. Doing the same thing, probably. Right? Doing the same thing, having the same... This is fucking... College is beautiful, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you getting cool with them, and then you going to travel and where they from. You you meet a girl. you Because like, college is just a whole... It's a whole village, right? Mm -hmm. So people at NYU, they going to hang out West Forth, the people from Parsons, y'all vibing, y'all... Yo, where you from? Korea. On your I say, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you know it, you going to Korea. You, yo, you, 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 you traveling, yo, man. You, living, you lit. Don't limit. Listen, bro. Don't limit nothing. You got to go for the experience. But you're going to monetize the experience. And when you're going in that, that way, you're going to fucking love college, man. And you're going to have a 4.0 GPA. I promise you. Nah, I'm just, I'm just soaking up the game. For I know you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you are. Damn. Damn, no cap. College is fire, bro. Living on campus, too. Oh, All man. them milk bags and booty jiggling, man. <laughs> 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 you're gonna love it man you're gonna love it man you're gonna love it man and you need and you need that you need those experiences you need that culture you need that vibe mm -hmm. mm. right and you gotta start seeing things and you gotta travel you gotta get your passport and just go you gotta get your passport and just go and just say I don't even care it is cheap as fuck I'll be homeless but we in Greece we sleep in the fuck <laughs> but fuck it we in Greece <laughs> we, we got we, we, we only had enough to pay for the flight fuck it we out bro Two days, we can sleep in the park on the beach out there. It's beautiful. We going to Belize. We out. Fuck it. You got to see an experience. This is what your youth is for. Right? see everything. You got to see everything. Young. And you got to build. Right? And let me say this last thing for you. Listen. Um, repeat this. Living expenses. Living expenses. Times four. Times four. Times 12. Times 12. Times 100. Times 100. Is your first, is your first generation, generation of retirement. Of retirement. That's your generational wealth, okay? And then you divide that number by five or seven. That's the different streams of income that you're going to have. And you're going to set a minimum goal for each stream of income, and you need to reach that goal before you're 30. Now you got multiple mm -hmm. streams of income. Mm -hmm. You created multiple generations of wealth. Now you're 30, and the life is yours. You, 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 you're crashing Ferraris. You treat you Ferraris like... Like, 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 like fucking condoms, man. You don't reuse really condoms, do you? You freak no, motherfucker. No, no. Right. So we using, we, we, we so rich, we using Ferraris like condoms. We like, fuck it, we gonna crash this one just cause. Shit. I'm gonna have a built-in bulletproof cage in the Ferrari. We gonna crash, <laughs> fuck it, we just gonna crash this one. We fuck to that. the next. Next Ferrari. Oh my God, you wanna, nah, fuck it, leave it on the side of the road, man. That's how rich you are, man. So like, what's your, what's your like, noted favorite, like, memory throughout this whole journey? Talking like, to y'all right now. Oh shit! Well, you just bullshit. seriously, man. <laughs> you bullshit. Like, like, like. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. From like, Jita, time out. Am I bullshitting? Listen, bro. Listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you about Sorry. bullshit. Let me tell you about bullshit. Listen, listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the harsh, hard truth about me. I, I live my. I faced and fought and beat my demons. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never knew my father. Been in prison. Been through. I've been through so much shit in my life. Mm -hmm. I got molested by my own mother, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I grew up with a different kind of rage and anger. At 12 years old, I wanted to kill myself. I had a knife to my throat. I wanted to, yo, bro, this is how I knew God was real. I'm in Geller House in a group home, mm -hmm. right? So I go to the basketball court. I'm playing. I'm just thinking. I said, this is the last day I'm on earth. I'm, I'm planning how I'm going to kill myself. 
I'm thinking about okay, man. You know, I'm gonna run in traffic. Am I? Because I'm trying to figure how. How do you kill yourself? <laughs> you, I'm being real. At the age of what, twelve? Like? Yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna I, fuck this. This is over, man. I don't want to be here, man. So everybody is. It's a really nice day. It's summertime. I'm in a group home. Everybody's outside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Playing basketball, right? Yeah. So um, I leave. I go to my aunt house. I climb. I, you know, she, she lives in Staten Island. Uh, 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 146 Westerville. Mm -hmm. So I climb over the I climb over the fence. I, cl I sneak into my old room mm -hmm. and I lay in the bed and I say I'm, I'm dying right here. And I and I got I, I grab the knife and I and I'm trying to stick myself in the neck. Bro, I felt like I had a stroke. I felt like my hand ain't work, like, like the, you ain't want to do it. Ain't want to do it. Who, who, what? <laughs> no, I wanted to do it. No, no, I wanted to die. But you couldn't. God ain't let me do it. Mm -hmm. It was so scary. Like, like you ever see them scary movies? A person get possessed by a ghost mm -hmm. or some shit. Yeah. Like the hand went. I was, I wanted to die. I want, the, what the fuck? Like my hand wouldn't, Bunch. My, it wouldn't move. And that's when I knew God was real. And I broke down. And I dropped the knife and I cried, bro. And I just cried and I 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 cried because I, I knew that was God showing me. Like, no, you ain't. You, this ain't it. It ain't. And I cried because it. God showed me. It's the first time in my life I found God was real, bro. But I didn't know that life after this moment was going to even be worth living. So I cried because I was like, you not letting me get the fuck up out of here. But this is what I'm dealing with up until this point, homie. Yeah, I see mm -hmm. what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, kind of like, what the fuck? Like, oh, God is real, but let me go. Let me get oh, the fuck yeah. up out of here. Yeah. Because it's not better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I get to points like this and I have conversations with y'all, it's the weirdest shit in the world. Because in order to keep it, you got to give it away. So every time I give information and I see like that spark on your eye and you like, oh shit, it's some real shit. <laughs> it's a form of healing that I get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So because we all connected. And when you give, giving never diminishes, it always increases. Mm -hmm. So these this, this the best moment is like these moments right here. Mm -hmm. And if you take this information and become successful and oh man, I'm like, I'm happy. That that's yeah, a good yeah, yeah. yeah. Giving is a good bro, when you give, bro, it's like a it's it's a drug, it's a good thing. Yeah. That's my Zaza right there. <laughs> Shit. Good dopamine. Yeah, what's it called? Dopamine. Do okay, dopamine. Okay, I just yeah. said, I, I just love shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you got new types of strands, huh? you know what I mean? I just said, double me, double me. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, you know what I mean? But yeah, what, what he said. So uh, if you have, is, if, uh, anybody watching right now? Tom, that's my bro too, come on. Hey, 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 come on man. Squeezing or squeezing. Yeah, 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 come on, man. What are you doing, man? Put him on the table or something. That's right now. Hey, yo, boy. Now, pause. Hey, yo, that's real. Oh, wow. Put him on the table. Man, you ain't going to the table with yo. You wild. You wildin', see? Yeah, you're right there, right there, man. You know what I mean? Right there, man. You know what I mean? Yo, 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 if you if you want to give any type of like motivation right now, just look in the camera. This is like a part where you really look into their eyes and you give them the best motivation you can. That was wild corny, bro. How? I look at it on camera. That was like. You was that the whole time? Yo, listen. If you want your soul to be, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, listen, man. Check it out, man. You did. I did it the whole interview, man. Check basically. It. Basically. Listen. Everything we think comes into existence. So only think things that you want to come into existence. How you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. Mm -hmm. So you got to protect your mind. And you got to know it takes three minutes minimum for your body to produce a hormone. Your thoughts produce chemicals. So you got a built-in CVS. You got a built-in pharmacy inside <laughs> of your body. Okay? So when you think about something for three minutes or more, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. You said it. What's the word? What's the word? Uh, what the, dopamine. Dopamine. Your body is going to produce that naturally. Three minutes or more with a thought that can activate that in your body. And then that chemical, that hormone becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration mm. becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. So create the world you want to live in because you're creating the world that you're living in. So create the world that you that you want to live in because you're creating the world that you live in. I see exactly what you're saying. Shit. Man, y'all hear this like every day. Like every day y'all hear this like. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? Because, because at the end of the day, look, and this is my bro. Like, you know what I mean? And one thing, let me tell you one thing about him. He's, he's, he's strong. He, he's smart. Right? I told him, I said, look, man. He came to me. He said, yo, bro. You know, I want to do right. Um, 
you know, I want to, you know, I, I want to get a job. I want to figure out how, how to grind. I didn't say, hey, take this gun and kill somebody, right? I said, look, man, we're going to sell some CDs. I took them out. I, show them, I showed them how I sell CDs. I showed them sell strategy. I showed them, right? And, you know, he's being consistent, right? And so he's going to learn. He's going to this, he's, he's, he's gonna start to figure out, okay, I could do something different. And I'm setting a great example. But I'm not, I'm not giving. I'm not enabling him. You see? I'm, I'm teaching him how to fish, but I'm letting him find where the fish is. I see what you're saying. You giving him the tools. Mm -hmm. Got to give him the tools. You can't, you can't, you can't give him the fish. You can't show him where the fish is at. You got to teach him how to fish, mm -hmm. and let and see if he wants to go actually fish. I ain't hit him up the other day. I'm man. I'm like man. Fuck this dude, mm -hmm. right? But he hit me back. He said, "Yo, bro, what's up, man? You know, you back at it? <laughs> no, because you got to. At the end of the day, you got to see if somebody won it. So if they want it, then you're obligated to help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially okay. if you're in a position to help give information or whatever. Yeah. So he's one of the few young brothers that's going to actually make it into 2024. Right? Because he's surrounded by a vibration that's going to protect him. He's, a vi he's surrounded by a vibration that's going to protect his physical appearance, his physical self, right? He's not around that energy. And that's what it's about, right? So be careful what you think because how you think creates the world that you live in. So start creating the world that you want to live in. Right? My man here is a phenomenal artist. Amazing. He surprised me. Most people can't rap. They can't, they can't fuck with me on a song. So I play the beats. His friend was in there, right? He was there. Bro was there, right? Come on, bro. Pull up, man. Pull up real quick, man. It's almost <laughs> over, man. Pull up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro was there, right? So... So 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 we 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 we, we get the song we, we got the song called Talk to the Gods me and yeah. my boy Gritty. Um, um, you might as well yeah 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 uh, yeah, yeah we got you. Um, right uh, right there, Bond. See, that's it, that's it. Know what I mean? Cool. You ain't gotta be know what I mean. There you go, right? Know what I mean? Yeah, like right there. Right there, right there. Boom, right. So so, I play the joint. I play the song. I'm like this. This the best verse ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my best, you right, G? I'm in the car. Yo, I don't know about Gritty, man. Fuck, you just the best what? I'm hype. I'm playing it cool. So we in Platinum Sounds. I get on the elevator. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting to hear some bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I heard bro verse. I was like, no, nah, this shit fine. <laughs> you left him? Nah, nah, he, nah, it, 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 it was it was Steph Curry and 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 and, and Clay Thompson. Oh, man, because I, like, I, mean, I was like, yo, it was like, I was like, yo, um, can't take it with us when we gone, so we gotta live life. Mm -hmm. I know I'm doing wrong, but damn, it feels right. We vibrate on the frequency. Emotions is a magnet. Thoughts manifest. Now you forced to take action. Fail, but fail faster. Endurance is a test. You only learn when you fall. Every no turns to yes. Take a deep breath. Don't become overwhelmed by the stress. Think about what you overcame. The situation will be next. Life is long. Live it. Survive. Move on to the next. I made mistakes. I'm a new man. But God gave me a second chance. No fear. Got to go for mine. Mm -hmm. Top is only for those who climb. So lonely roll when you chosen. Never wait to be given roses. Grow. So I'm like, yeah. yo, fuck out of here. I gave niggas some street shit, some gangster shit. shit. You know what I mean? With some message. Ooh. Not me? Yeah. They like, yo, I had a long face. Oh, the long. I'm like, what the? Oh, I'm like, hold up. Because his vibe was, his, you know, his, his vibe was like, it was different. So I'm way, I'm like, man, fuck out. I'm lit. Oh, I'm like, oh. <laughs> now I said, fire. And me, you know, this is my manager. I, I, I don't, yeah. I don't, if it's whack, it's whack. Right, yeah. I was like, damn, bro, this shit fire. I was like, yeah, we got something. And it just, it just went so well, you know? So, the, and, and that's what it's about, right? Like, just us connecting and doing this and, 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 and not being intimidated and not trying to be greedy and hog up the, 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 the spotlight. Yeah. And then I look, because yeah. his friend, he came, right? He came, and then I see him today. I was like, oh, I fuck with that. Because people, people don't do that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. They not, you know what I mean? Everybody want to ride in a limo, but nobody want to ride in a bus. And people stay close enough to you to make you think that they're a part of your success, but far enough away from you so you don't got to put in the work in to contribute to your success. We call them day you made it, not day ones. The day you made it. Day you made it. Yeah, yeah, the day you made it. They pop up. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I been believing you. Yeah, I knew it. You sliced bread. You. Yeah, we knew you could do it. Fuck out of here. So, so be careful, you know, 
and, and, and make sure you hold people accountable. Make sure, right? I'm yeah. not just giving him money. Nah, bro, I'm gonna see if you see how you move. And I like the fact that he reached out and he stayed consistent. I said, hit me in the morning early. I don't never sleep. I said, he, he hit me early. What time you hit me? Seven. Seven a.m., bro. And it wasn't for no drugs. So I said, all right. I, I, said, I said, you know, for drugs, motherfucker hit you early with some, with some drugs. You know what I mean? But just to hit me for just to hit. I said, nah, all right, all right, bet. I'm, I'm going to get next to him because he's showing that. You want it? Yeah, he want to do better, man. So. Yeah, dude. Shit. That's crazy, son. To end it off, I think I had a weird question to ask. Like, how did you get the name The Small Guy? Did somebody choose it for you or it just came along or you picked that? Well, well, it's a combination of a couple of things. Like, yeah, somebody gave it to me. Pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Set me up for that one. <laughs> nah, nah. Wait, wait. No, no. I mean, so SMART stands for success, motivation, ambition, righteous truth. Mm -hmm. Right? Because names have power. So, you know, my bunkie, right, powerful, he was telling me, like, yo, your name, the name you choose, because cause my name was in prison was Monster. Monster? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I read the book Monster Cody. Yeah. So it's a book called Monster Cody. I'm like, yo, fuck that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm on some gangster shit. You know what I mean? I just want to be, you know what I mean? I, fuck up. that. So, but that led me to the box. And, 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 my, and my cellmate was like, yo, everything you, your whole, like everything that's happening to you is, is happening because of the name you got. You feel me? Yeah. So that name is bringing a reality. Yeah. So I said, damn, all right. All right, what you, you know what I mean? All right, all right. I'm going to call myself Clout. Clout? <laughs> that's corny, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, whack. That was whack. That's why. That's why. Right. Right. I felt like, nah, you know what I mean? That's it. And then I was like, smart. It was like, yo, oh. My grandmother used to call me smart ass. Mm -hmm. I mean? So I was like, you know what? One of my teachers used to call me slick. So that's how S got in there. Mm. I was like, slick? Nah, I ain't slick sound like, you know what I mean? But all right. Then smart just came like that. Yeah. Just like that from that day? Just like that. Just like Jesus. <laughs> shit. Wanna wrap it up? Hey, Amen. Yeah, that's it, man. And shout out to y'all. Because the interview almost ain't happened, man. Nah, no, it didn't almost happen. Up. He hit me. Yeah, yeah, word. Oh, almost ain't man, happened, Chan. I mean? No cap. Shout. Yeah, we, we found it. You know what I mean? We, we, was the lady. we figured it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I came, yeah, I came in through the door. I'm like, we oh, figured it out. Nah. Came to the door. I'm like, who the fuck yeah. is that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because right, he, he, he was trying to curb me, you know what I'm saying? He don't got a phone, he had a walkie talkie. He's going to say, Yo, yeah, you know, bro, my phone, my Wi Fi, whatever. Uh, it was off. It's okay. Otherwise, bugging right now. Damn, it's okay. Damn. I forgive you, man. Um, Yo, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Small guys, all bios going to be in the description. Check them on IG, YouTube. Are you actually box like he would. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm nice with my shit, man. <laughs> I ain't hold it. Um, I'm nice with my shit. <laughs> Are you, pause. So, yeah, yeah. Damn. So, yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> I don't know what's up, yo, my man. Yeah, too much porn for you, man. You gotta ease up on a, on a, on a late night laptop. Yeah, over this. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So we fighting. Um, we fighting next year, early February, at the Bedentry Center in New Jersey. Shout out to my coach, Ju Heavy Hitters, um, boxing gym out of New Jersey. Um, by this time next year, I'm definitely gonna be light heavyweight champion of the fucking of the world. world. Of the world. Yeah, yeah, I'm nice. You know what I'm saying so. I'm saying you're looking at like uh, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying our version. So, yeah, fuck with me. Um, what did y'all get from this interview, man? What's the main thing? Let me ask you. Let me. How much time we got? G? Two, two minutes, a minute left. Wait, let me interview you, motherfuckers, for a minute. Yeah. Uh, so I got three questions, right? First what's question. Three questions. First question. What's the first question. What did you get from this interview? What is the most important, powerful, pertinent thing you can say you got from conversing with me? Information. I like to go first. Um, basically. Um, you went through like a traumatic event at the beginning and you literally went through the, the hell of hell and it just like your whole life just turned out. Yeah, like, like this. you went through shit most people don't go through. How are you going to make money off this podcast? Um, let's see. Oh, uh, wait, off this? Wait, you, um, you off this podcast, specific episode? No. Podcast. Um, off the podcast. Contacting, contacting the small contact shops. What's it called? Pear Buddy? Pinkberry. Pinkberry. Right across the street. We be all small, our ads. all small shops. Contact them, email them. We could like you know sponsor you. Got to got to have a list of shops. A list. Set a financial goal mm -hmm. for each shop on that list, mm -hmm. and then go through the process of elimination, cold calling, cold DMing, whatever. Every no will eventually turn into yes. 
Next two questions. I got three for both of you. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Second question mm -hmm. is, what's the name of the camera rental company? CDs. You said you wrote it down, bro. I know. And I typed it in. So where's that? It's on my phone. CSI Rentals. Oh, oh, he's sharp, man. <laughs> oh, okay. So you, so you, you the brain. He's Pinky. I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay. What are we doing today, Pinky? Okay. What's the, what's the third one? Third one is who are you? Like that's a vague question. Oh man. Who am I? Tragic. I'm a powerful young <laughs> black man. Oh my God. Oh, shit. Thank you. Man, with that one. Thank you. Shit. Damn, man. Listen. We gonna listen. Get your battery low. Give my man a nah, charger. Nah. Stop buying your charges for the from I'm a powerful dark. young black man. All right. Yeah. No, we, he, he hit it for you on the head, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's shit. He gave it to you. Simple. Mm -hmm. Right. So who are you? Bro, I told you. <laughs> who are you? I told you who I, who you I am. You ain't say it. You afraid to say it? No, nah, I'm not afraid to say it. So who are you? I'm a god, but like. Thank you. That's it. Before, Keep right there. That's it. No. I, that's thank you. We ending. That's it. Cut. Rap. It's over. Like, <laughs> that's it. Done. Episode finished. Finito. Nah, See I you soon. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. yeah. Gotta take this flip. She got it. She did. I got you. She's. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Yeah, I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up. Oh.